fight is not over yet. It looks like there will be a recount for Measure 92. This is the GMO labeling measure. The vote was closer than we thought. Our Amy Frazier here now. She's got more on uh, what's going on with this. Amy. Yeah, I just checked with the Secretary of State's website. As of 4.30 today, Measure 92 is failing by just 1,079 votes. Today, I reached out to both campaigns for their reaction to this very close race. We're going to build a shelf for... No matter what happens, the Yes on 92 campaign tells me it's a win to them either way in their fight for labeling of genetically engineered foods. Why do you consider this a victory either way? We really, given the $20 million that was spent by the genetically engineered food industry, for us to still be standing at this point is tremendous. Measure 92 has narrowed the vote gap in the weeks after the election, something I asked political analyst Jim Moore to shed some light on. What happened in the days after the race is Multnomah County had a bunch of ballots that it hadn't been able to process on election night, and it said, oh, here they are, and they are basically uh, two-thirds to one-third in favor of this. So all of a sudden, it got closer. Yes on 92 focused on contested ballot signatures, encouraging supporters to get them corrected and ultimately counted. For the first time ever, these contested ballots that may have signatures that don't match and things, it's public record. We know who these people are. Counties have until Monday at 5 o'clock to finish all their counting. When I spoke with Moore earlier this afternoon, there was about a 1,500 vote difference between the two sides. Do you think Measure 92 has a real shot here? I don't think it does. Um, at this point, there are 1,500 votes between the two sides, mm -hmm. and when you look at the number of votes that are out, the counties that they come from, and the amount that the measure won or lost in those counties, it's hard to see how there would be an extra 1,500 votes out of just 7,000 left. He says it's likely, though, the close numbers will trigger a mandatory recount. Either way, NOAA 92 issued this statement today saying, we are confident that Measure 92 has been defeated. Now, if a recount is triggered, the Secretary of State's office says that recount will likely happen the first week of December. So okay. we'll keep you posted on what's happening. Pretty interesting to it, see it, all this unfold. I think it's interesting that when you talked to Jim a few hours ago, yeah. it was 1,500 votes. And when you join us right here, you say now it's only 1,079. 1,079. So we keep going back to right. the, the website to check because those numbers keep getting updated. So. We'll, we'll let you know. Yeah. <laughs> Election night continues yes. right here on Coin Six. You're